Hello everybody, my name is Science Tom. I am back. I am back with a new episode of Star Trek Online. Load up as... I just realised that's the wrong character. The ca I've been playing a little bit on my main science character. Bear with us. One minute. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm not going to edit it out. Here you go, I'll just show you this now. This is my science vessel ship. Looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But not the character I want to be. What a great start to episode two. Right. Here we go. Engineer guy. Engineer Kai. <laughs> Let's try again. Right. Um, so, how are you guys all doing? Hopefully, um, when I get around to editing this video, I will actually edit it so you can actually hear me more than the game. I know episode one was a bit on the loud side, but here we are. We're, we are we we are um, just got onto this ground mission for the tutorial, so let's have a look. Here's the situation, Ensign. Borg are attempting to get a foothold here, but they're round they've they're rounding up colonists, not assimilating them immediately. I don't know why they're acting this way, but I know we need to rescue these those colonists before the Borg revert to their old ways. Okay. We're barely holding them here to protect the evac, evac points, and I don't have the people for the, for a rescue attempt. That's where you come in. First things first, let's make sure you are well equipped. Speak with Ensign. Bayarnez? Bayarnez. She will teach you everything you need to know about it. About available kits. So this is where we got our first kit. Awesome. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. glad to get some. Uh, okay, general. Some. Yeah. Basically, the uh, the kits. Um. Here we go. Choose equipment. Here we go. So here we go. We got our uh, engineering kit. So, creates level 5 uh, Mark 1 barrier mines. Um, gives you more kinetic damage, which is uh, shield penetration. Uh, gives <laughs> run speed negative. Oh, and we've got a phase sniper rifle. Okay, so here we go. We've now got some different weapons. You can use Z to uh, go between the two. Kits, we need a kit. There we go. Got our kit. Alright. Enter the city and rescue the colonists. Okay, so there we go. Got our mine barrier. Let's see how this works. Okay. Right, so uh, you can use H to holster your weapon or draw out your weapon. Do do do. Let's just. Uh, there we go. Rescued one colonist. And we've got Arshi with us as well. Yep, you can double tap the direction to roll, which is pretty good. There's two colonists down. Yeah, that's just telling you about critical hits. Yeah, at this point in the game, if you get a critical hit, a flanking critical hit, you, uh, you end up one hit killing them, so pretty useful. Pretty useful to know. Uh, also, by the way, if you look down at the chat, I am part of a fleet because the fleets carry over from character to character, so uh, that's basically what that is. So that's awesome. Keep cool under pressure, right, so I have a new job for you. Shut down a Borg device. Right, okay. So. We need to go back here anyway. To talk to the Ensign. Bayane. Bayanez. Oh no, we don't then. Ah, oh, we have to shut down one of these Borg devices over here. That's fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh. 
Right, I think on this next bit, uh, let us use our, this mine barrier. Ah, here we go. This is what it does. Put some mines down, so if they, if they walk over them, if the enemy walks over them, they blow up. So let's try on these. Haha, <laughs> it's just running right into the middle of them. Oh, it didn't quite work. Alright. Hmm. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, there's turrets. Kill the turret. down the shields oh heavy tactical drone yeah the, these tactical drones are a nightmare because they're actually a lot tougher than the normal drones especially in the uh, later missions um, where you have to fight uh, 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 things hang on a second Sorry about that. Let's have a look here. Kill this drone. Doo -doo -doo. Shut down the array and return to our ship. Which we do automatically. Apparently. Lovely. Right. So, incoming transmission for Admiral Quinn. Put it on screen. Let's go. It's going to be amusing. And since science, it's good to finally meet you. I've received numerous reports about your actions today. I've been very impressed. You show yourself to be a credit to Starfleet, and I can see a bright future ahead of you, but this day isn't over yet. All of our troops are meeting to try to push the remaining Borg ships out of the area. I want you and the chivalry there for the final action. I've transmitted the coordinates to your helmsman. Warp to the location as soon as possible. Let us go! Now there is um, one thing I will do as soon as I get back to as soon as I get to Sol and Earth Dock, uh, head to Navigation Beacon and beat up with the battle group. So here we go. Okay, basically, head towards the enemies. <laughs> so here we go. You see these are battle groups here. Federation Beacon. It's just that little thing there that's flashing. Uh, also, uh, this thing, little th this little bar down here changes your uh, stance. So if I was to put it on attack, uh, actually I tend to have this on this here. Ooh, let's... Uh, Increase the firepower on these torpedoes. Boom, boom. And one missed entirely. And there you can take items. Here we go. Look, we've got dual phaser beam banks, which is, I, th I think, slightly better, but I'm not entirely sure for this. Particular, um, right, we've got. Well, there goes another thing. Right, so we've got to defeat. Destroy damaged Borg cube. That's what we've got to do. So let's fly to a different battle group. Well, this Borg, this cube over here is dead too. Uh, this could take a while. 
Now, there is uh, certain things we can do. Uh, yeah. So basically what you can do, uh, if we go to number three, here we go, you can actually change levels for each of the different stances. So at the minute, yeah, there we go. So all that changed. Uh, auxiliary power I normally keep around about the same. So, uh, let's go over here. Yes, I know. Thank you for telling me. Oh, I should have put it back on too. This is just easier to see what kind of uh, situation your uh, ship is actually in. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Eventually, you can get uh, weapons for your rear, like more weapons. I think by actually by the end of it, you get three front, three rear. So. Although it's pretty much impossible to die during the tutorial, so... Eat. Oh, hello, and here is the cube. We're taking it on with our little puny, puny little ship. <laughs> Oh, it's really not liking us doing going this way. Um, let's get one of these going. If this misses, I'll be very surprised. Thing is so big, you can't miss. <laughs> oh, we need to put some power in the front shields. By the way, if you use the directional keys on the. Um, on the keyboard, uh, or whatever keyboard it is you use, then um, you can actually uh, redirect your shields really quickly. You can either click on these, and it directs like it puts power into the shields that are taking the most damage. It's a good way to prevent damage for the most part if you can do it quick enough. Sometimes you get like abilities and stuff that mean you can't. You take, like you get uh, energy drain abilities like Tachyon. Is Tachyon? Beam? No, it's Tachyon. Uh, yeah, Tachyon Beam, which is. Uh... So yeah, we've got some consoles now, and here we go. We can go to Sol System and Earth Space Dock. So let's do that. Oh, occasionally it happens with the uh, with the. Um, Warp cinematic it goes a bit out. You can't really see your ship. Uh, the bigger ships are worse for it because you get like a corner <laughs> of your ship. Um, and here we are. We finished the tutorial nearly, <laughs> and we've got to Earth Space Dock. This hologram has some ego issues, I'm calling it. I will return to my duty now. Remember all that you learned, and you will be ready to break this. Good luck, Woo! Oh, that's a big ass ship that's just pulled up alongside us. Right, to Earth space dock. Now we can either just dock, which I'm gonna do, because otherwise it takes ages. Or you can actually just fly straight into the st into the space station, and it docks automatically, which is pretty funny. Well, that's cool. Nice little touch. Um. So now we get to play around. Ooh, hello. What's going on here? Oh yeah, it's going to show us through all the doors without opening them. Full path to Admiral's office. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. It just shows you where to go, really. 
Um, so yeah, this is the main heart of the the entire game. This is where you'll come to customize your ship. For the most part, this is where you get your new ships. Um, this is where you uh, actually get the requisition form, like tokens from this guy, the Admiral Quinn. Uh, as I think I might do now. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been to this part of the game. Uh, free starship modification. Ah, there, there we go. Uh, and then we. Oh, look, here we go. Choose a console. Uh, kinetic damage resistance. Phaser damage. Now, what I really want is, as a t as an engineering class, we are supposed to be the tanky unit. We're supposed to take all the damage. So let's go for the um, kinetic damage resistance. So. Um, oh yeah, and this is also set um, where we're actually at war with the Klingons. How lovely is that? Uh, right, so okay, here we go. Now we can access our skills. So basically this is how it works. You have your tactical systems, which mainly are for the tactical officers. Engineering, which is obvious. Science, again, which is obvious. Oh, let's accept that. Exit, so he doesn't keep bothering us. Uh, so yeah, that is our next mission. Not exactly hard. And then obviously we've got ground, uh, which are specific for the class that you actually are, which is engineering, science, whatever. You can also level up the people that are in your team. So I prefer... Actually, let's just do two in each. No, space is more common at this point, so let's do that. Um, you can also put into stations, so obviously we need an engineering and a science, but we don't have anybody yet, so it's kind of hard to do that. So if we go to uh, skills, that's what we want. Uh, driver coil, let's have a look. Oh yes, that's warp speed and full impulse speed. Um, Batteries. I don't really bother with batteries, I don't use them all that much, so. Let's have a look. Uh, hull repair. I think we're going to go for the hull repair. Yeah, because we want engineering team, hazard emitters. Miracle worker. I don't know what that is. Uh, hazard emitters is good. It's sort of like a, a healing spell, if that makes sense. Uh, let's put. Let's put to that, that. Shield emitters. Improve starship shield repair and healing abilities. Yeah, so that's um, transfer shield strength, stuff like that. Weapon for Hey, I wonder. I take one out of there. Let's go. There we go. That seems good to me. Uh, right, so. Next thing I want to do. is go to this place. Now this place is awesome. Um, this is You will spend a lot of time in ship requisitions either here or um, Deep Space Nine or um, what's the other one? There's another one. Uh, here, this is where you get all your starships. So we can go get a new starship. We can't do this just yet but for the engineering class you use cruisers. So here we go, There's, here's our ship at the minute, the lighter cruiser. Now you can get a constitution cruiser if you've got, the, like I have, I've got some Zen, which is the premium stuff. That's the next ship we'll be getting, the cruiser, which is next level, I believe. Uh, yeah, because we're lieutenant, yeah, lieutenant commander, there we go. But you have to go through ten levels of lieutenant before you get to this. Every ten levels you get a new ship, basically. There you go, that's a... Uh, for the commander. That's the commander. Yep, commander. Then there's captain. And then there's uh, admiral lower half. Uh, and you know, it, it's it's pretty self-explanatory really. Uh, this person is for shuttle information. 
ship requisitions, uh, like buying our, our weapons and stuff like that, you go over there for. Now, um, here is where you customize your ship. So here we go. Here's the basic ship. This is what it looks like as standard, but we can do some cool stuff with it. So there's three different types. We can have Centaur. There we go. We can have a look a bit like that. Or Miranda, which is box standard. Or Shakir. Or Shikar, which looks pretty cool. I have to admit that it does look pretty nice. But, 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 we can do something awesome with it nonetheless. Uh, you can get all these different... Um, interiors as well. You can actually go inside your ship. So uh, let's just keep it standard. So yeah, here's what we can do. We can change do advanced. And we can change um we can change what the thing looks like. So here we go. This is what it's set to at the minute. We've got Centaur dish. Or we can have it with a Miranda dish or the Shikar dish. I think that one looks nice, don't you think? Yeah, let's go for that one. Um, oh, we've got it in a bit of a tangle. Um, <laughs> guys. There we go. Uh, and then we can change the Norselays, which are these things on the side here. So we have Centaur, Miranda, or Shikor. I think I'm going to stick to that. Uh, the struts, obviously the things that connect uh, the main, like, the bit that the pylons fit to, basically. So we can go from Miranda, Shikar, or we can keep it underneath. There we go. And then the pylons we've got different variants on them too so we can have it look really odd <laughs> I, think, I think that looks pretty awesome uh, there's not really a lot in terms of uh, customization with the early ships there's a little bit more with the uh, later ones If I have a if I have a minor issue, it's that there's not really that much freedom with the ship creation. Uh, it would be nice to have some variants. Uh, let's have some blue, and some black on there. There we go. That looks awesome. So now what we can do is you can change the color scheme. So, well, we can change the color scheme. I say we can do it so it's a little bit varied. Uh, let's go for the same blue. Yeah, so we can have a, a blue ship. <laughs> How awesome is that? And then of course we can actually just go ahead and paint everything else as well. It's all Gemini. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, now we've got our ship change the window types uh, there we go. maybe the material that it's made out of so we can have dark let's go for type 1 which is the really bright silver silvery whitey color yeah there we go got our ship cost us nothing which is cool right so so um, Oh, and if you want to change between ships, which we can't do just yet, here we go. We can go in here and list all the ships, ships that we have available. Now, next thing I want to do while I'm here, uh, one, there we go, status, there we go. Now, if I bring up my inventory, we do have some things I can add in here. Now, the f dual phaser beam banks, they do... More damage than the beam array, so just out of that, they do have the smaller arc, but just for that particular thing, I'm going to put the 
phaser beams on. Uh, we've got an engine. We've got a couple of engineering consoles, I think. Engine power set. Yep, there we go. And then we've got this, so we can put that in the engineering slot. Uh, we've got shield emitter amplifier, shield regeneration rate, which is a science console. Um, and the rest. Uh, the rest is fine for the minute. We don't really need to worry about uh, the major components just yet because uh, right this game has a really cool function when you want to sell things so if you go down here and you're eventually to replicate and recycle you can just sell things which is pretty awesome uh, let's just sell everything yes major components as well I don't really need them just yet you can also buy stuff no point in doing that just yet. So, here we go, here we are. Um, we've finished the tutorial, we've got Earth Space Dock, and uh, now I am going to end this episode here. I will be recording episode number three straight after this, so uh, we shall see how we get on. Other than that, I shall see you guys all next time. Hope you enjoy the videos, and hope you like this series and jump for the Space Federation! Yay! Anyway, see you guys all next time.